scene. Joel says the music scene there has its similarities and its differences. There's no video outlets, there's no radio outlets, but there's, there's been no hype, there's been no image making. Uh, so we're kind of going in cold. Uh, I do know that our records are being sold, uh, bought and sold on the black market, which is a good indication of what's going on. It's not too dissimilar than what goes on in the States with kids, there's a lot of taping going on. Um, that sort of gives us an indication that there is some interest. And Joel will play three shows in Moscow and three more in Leningrad. A film crew is with him shooting a documentary to air on MTV later this summer. And New York men sure what to expect from Soviet audiences, and because of that, he's not sure what kind of show to put together for them. It'll be different because we have to assume we haven't had hit records in the Soviet Union like we've had in, in Britain or America or even in Japan. Uh, we've got to kind of go over there uh, assuming that they haven't heard anything and try to build a show based just on a musical feeling alone. A documentary crew will film Joel in Russia and the results will be seen here on MTV later this summer. And a familiar voice made a... Hey, Julie Brown with you. Billy Joel kicked off his six-day Bridge to Russia tour yesterday at the 60,000-seat Moscow Olympic Stadium. He's the first American rock artist to stage a Soviet tour, thanks to Russia's new glasnost policy of openness to the West. But Joel says he won't use this rare opportunity to make any political statement. I don't think I really have to get up, get up on a soapbox and espouse my political beliefs. Uh, I'm a pop star. I don't necessarily represent anything other than pop stars in, in, in an American sense. Um, and I don't feel like I should speak as a representative of anyone but me. Uh, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to avoid the political issues. Uh, I'm not there as a, uh, as a diplomat. I'm there as a musician. However, when he plays in Leningrad next week, Joel will meet and jam with one of Russia's most popular and political rock artists, Boris Grabenchikov. Okay, moving on in the news. A lot of the people may not speak English, may not understand English. It's a good test of how the music is going to do just on its own, cold. Let's just see how this stuff goes over. We might die. We might go on stage and just, you know, die a great death. And then we're in trouble. I'm going to have to shift gears. I, I, I've got a show and a sequence of a show as an outline, but we may have to change the whole thing by the time we're, we're halfway through the tour over there. Joel's six concert tour is called The Bridge. For VH1, I'm Donna Fiducia.